Hey, Sushi. Are you there? Hey, Brian. How's it going? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm in a big mess again. This is serious, Sushi. I need help. Okay, calm down. You can count on me. What's happening? Well, I guess I should start from the top. Here's what happened. A few days ago, Gina and I were on vacation in Hawaii. You know, sun, sand, daiquiris, the hula, anyway. The thing is that Gina wanted to go to Tiki Falls on Mala Island. So, even though I didn't feel like it, we got up early one morning to go on our ill-fated little day trip. Time. If you oh. say so. Come on. It'll be awesome. Come on, don't tell me you've never dreamed of seeing the waterfalls and the Tiki Temple. Platypus Tours, huh? Couldn't you find a more upscale agency? I called a few others, but they all told me their flights to Mala Island were temporarily canceled for some reason. That's weird. Oh, don't be such a worrywart. A really kind old man at Platypus told me there was no problem. We better get moving. The pilot is expecting us on the beach at 8 o'clock sharp.
Well, kids, sure is a fine morning, isn't it? <laughs> just perfect for flying over Zamala Island. I'm telling you, you're just gonna love them Tiki Falls and Temple. They are, like you kids say, totally awesome. Don't take this the wrong way, sir, but aren't you a bit age-challenged to be flying a plane? Brian, don't you think that was a bit rude? Forgive him, Otto. I'm sure you're a first-class pilot. Don't worry, hotcakes. I'm used to dealing with smart Alex like him. And don't you worry, dude. This old bird's wings are still a-flapping. So, let's get a move on and fly over to Mala Island. I can't wait to get there. Brian, cheer up that grumpy face and stop worrying. Okay. By the way, Otto, that hydroplane doesn't look like it's compliant with Hawaiian transportation safety standards. Oh, I assure you, there's no reason to fret. This sweet purring machine will keep you safer than Air Force One. <laughs> Here comes the oh, God. Down. Somehow I knew this wouldn't have a happy ending. Come see. on, hurry! Because you have to jump! There must be some other way! Are you sure Otto picked the bucket? He's what flown to bluer you? skies, no doubt about it. And there's only one parachute. So get the thing on, because I'm opening the door. Well, let's jump together. I am not leaving you here in a crashing plane. No, Gina, the parachute won't hold us both. I can manage to land this contraption, but it's silly for both of us to risk our lives. No, I never jump without you. Hurry up, Gina. We'll see each other on the ground soon. I promise. to crash. Man, I can't believe I saved my skin this time. My poor body aches, but I don't think anything's broken. Just a few scratches. Ah! Oh, Otto! Where could he be? How weird. Otto is gone. I don't know. Maybe he was thrown from the plane when we crashed. Poor little devil. I feel awful for him. But he could have chosen some other time to fly the coop. I really get irked by people who make drastic decisions without consulting anyone else. I seem to have crashed in quite a lush area. Well, the first thing I should do is find Gina. I saw from the plane that she was falling over a lake. I hope she didn't have any trouble swimming ashore to safety. She's probably searching for me, too. I'll be needing our backpacks before I set off to see where we've landed. Oh, man. They're not here either. 
Nothing. They vanished without a trace. What a bummer. They must have flown out when we crashed. Well, I'll just have to make do with what I have. Some newspapers, bottles, cans, and Otto's old Walkman with Muzak. Ah, and there's the clip Gina was wearing in her hair. It must have fallen out when we started to nosedive. I don't see anything worthwhile. Well, perhaps Gina's hair clip. Gina will be excited to get it back once we're back together. It's a shard of glass from that broken window over there. Hmm, I'm not too big on the idea of carrying a sharp piece of glass around. On the other hand, it may be useful. I'll have to be careful not to get cut. This one is filled with toy puppies, and I see the others are too. I'll take one. You never know. Huh. It weighs more than I was expecting. Obviously, there's some sort of mechanism to make it move. Yeah, it requires batteries. And there are some in it. Wow! It's one of those popular Capote puppies. I read it's the most popular urinating toy to come out in decades. Apparently, they're all the rage over in Europe. Anyway, I don't know much about planes, but this looks pretty banged up. Let's see. Maps and flight plans. And what's that down there? A magnifying glass. I'm taking that. I might need to use it. It doesn't seem to be locked. Just some old binoculars and a pint of scotch. Seems as if Otto liked to travel well prepared. Jeez, they aren't exactly pocket sized. However, they may be my ticket out of this jungle. Yeah, I know this is no time for a drink, but it may come in handy later. That looks familiar from the movies, but I haven't a clue what it's for. That looks familiar from the movies, but I haven't a clue what it's for. They're locked in place. It's hard to be sure, but I must have passed out hours ago. Amazing! It looks as if I'm in the middle of a jungle. I can't complain, though. All these thick trees probably saved my life. It's filtering in through the tree branches. It's filtering in through the tree branches. I don't see the reason for doing that. I don't get it. That makes no sense. It could help hold the lever in place, but why do that? I don't know what that's for, to tell you the truth. 
Wow, I got the front hatch of the plane open. It's just amazing how much I'm able to do without having a clue what I'm doing. Hey, something fell down over there. It belongs to Otto. Where in the world did it fall from? That's the hatch I opened from the cabin. Let's check out what's inside. Darn, it closed back up again. A little sooner and it would have decapitated me. Yeah, that might actually work. But first I should open the hatch. Let's see whether the lever holds a little longer without moving. Good plan. Let's see if it's the right size. Perfect. With the lever blocked in place, there's no more worry about that hatch slamming shut. All right. Now I won't have any trouble taking a look. tank of water is always useful. It weighs quite a bit, but if I get thirsty, I'll be happy to have grabbed it. Plus, it'll help me stay in shape, in case I have to make a run at some point, especially if I drop it. This tool is also quite interesting. Might be a good weapon if I have to fight off any wild beasts. I don't see anything else that's useful for now. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I think it's a lemur. Now, isn't that something special? It's getting more sparse up ahead. There are fewer trees and it looks like the jungle is ending. The bad part is over here. Just what I was afraid of. Quicksand. I'll have to be extremely careful. I think that if I can get up onto that ledge, I'll finally find a way out of this jungle. I think that if I can get up onto that ledge, I'll finally find a way out of this jungle. I think that if I can get up onto that ledge, I'll finally find a way out of this jungle. What have we got here? Why, it's Otto's goggles. How in the devil did they get here? I refuse to believe that. No, I can't believe Otto ended up at the bottom of that sludge. Oh, the humanity. It crosses over the quicksand. The only way to get up there safely is by climbing the big rock first. What a huge boulder. That won't do any good. It crosses over the quicksand. Uh, 
I don't think I can reach them. I'll cut a branch to get to them. This one should do. Luckily, the lens wasn't too stained by that muck. Yeah, I get the idea. Let's hop to it. There we go. I made it as long as I could. That's a good idea, but it would work better if I cut the branch first to give it the ideal shape. Yep, I just need to change the shape a bit. Bingo! It's just the way I wanted it. Now it's the perfect size and the ideal shape. Yeah, I think I did this on a field trip once. Done. I've made the perfect slingshot. Holy smokes! What a drop! It must be thousands of feet down. I think climbing the ledge is a bit too dangerous. If I slip off to the left, I'll end up in the quicksand. And if I slip off to the right, I'll break my neck. I'll just have to find another way up there. Okay, let's take a peek in there again. I don't see anything else that's useful for now. No, better just leave it open. Plus, I don't think you can do it manually without the cabin lever. Hey, there's that friendly little lemur. What a huge boulder. That's not a bad idea. From the top of the rock, I could reach that fallen tree and use it as a bridge to avoid the quicksand. Here it goes. That rock is as slick as ice. I can't climb it. Okay, let's take a peek in there again. Yeah, that can there may be just what I need. It's anti-slippage spray, and it looks like the can is almost full. I don't see anything else that's useful for now. It's teetering between those two trees, but it might fall to the ground at any moment. It's filtering in through the tree branches. That won't do any good. All right, let's see if I can find something up there. It looks like a bag. 
I'm not positive, but it might be Otto's. That would explain where his pilot's license dropped from. Well, as long as Otto doesn't fall down onto me at some point. Yeah, let's see how good my aim is. I wonder if I can knock the bag down. This rock should work. Presto. Yep, no doubt about it. It's Otto's bag. All right, I'll take a little peek. This key could come in handy. I think I know what lock it opens. The problem is that it's split in two. It must have broken when the bag fell from the treetop. Hey, that's not a bad idea. If I guide it through the magnifying glass, the sun will be turned into a super strong beam of light. But in order to be of any use, I'd have to aim the magnifying glass at something. And I don't see how I'd do that right now. Good idea. That way I can use the magnifying glass wherever I need it. The hard part will be fitting the handle in. So let's cross our fingers. There we go. I made it as long as I could. No. That makes no sense. Yeah, now that the handle is much longer, I can probably attach it to something. This looks like the perfect spot. Ta-da! The beam converges through the lens and turns into a high-powered light beam. Yeah, if the light beam produces enough heat, maybe I can weld the key together. Let's try it out. Yes, I deserve the locksmith merit badge. And it seems to be pretty darn sturdy. It's locked. Let's try it. I hope the welding holds. Darn it! The excess metal from when I welded it is keeping the key from going into the keyhole. Yes, that should help remove the excess metal. Let's be careful. You might bust the key again. Presto, it should work now. Now it's as if the comp... Come on, this has got to go in the keyhole now. Yes! Finally, that took some effort, but now it's open. Some blankets, a first aid kit, and that there. It looks like, yeah, a pair of snowshoes. I'm not interested in blankets. I don't even think they have a winter around here. And at this rate, I don't think a first aid kit will do me much good. Something tells me these snowshoes will come in handy anyway. They remind me of a Neanderthals, but hey, Neanderthals knew their snow. Hey, 
There's that friendly little lemur. Good plan. Maybe that'll make it less slippery. Presto. I think that'll be enough. This thing near its tail looks like a screw cap. There must be a tank inside that can be filled with liquid to make Capote more lifelike. All right. I suppose that's what the tank was designed for. Ready. Now that I've doused it with any slippage spray, climbing it may not be such a chore. Okay, let's see if I can make it now. Darn that lemur from... Looks like we've got ourselves a mischievous little lemur. No. No. That won't do any good. That won't do any good. Hey, that does sound like an interesting idea. Maybe that lemur will be distracted by playing with Capote and leave me alone. This is the perfect spot. I can hide behind the rock, and while the lemur is scampering amid the trees, it won't see me putting Capote in place. I don't want him to think Capote's a trap. Ready. I'll hide behind here. Man, that is one vicious little beast. It's not going to be easy to fool him. Sure, I'll take one more. Let's hope this one doesn't end up drowning in the mud like the last one. Yeah, that might be a clever idea. Filled to the brim, this dog needs to go out for a walk, ASAP. That conniving little lemur again. Hey, you filthy monkey. If I get my hands on you, you're gonna regret it. Let's see if that prehensile prankster can drink as much whiskey as water. Ready, I'll hide behind here. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Looks like we can hold our liquor, can we, my friend? Time to get what's coming to you, it seems. He's out like a light. Well, I'm not gonna hurt him. And they say you should keep your enemies as close as you can. And Capote's coming too, of course. Good little puppy, Capote. You've been very obedient. Time to climb. I don't have to worry about that lemur anymore. Finally, I made it up. I finally made it out of that jungle, so now I can... Oh, great. The jungle's ended, but not my problems. Look at that hanging bridge. It's scary just looking at that rickety thing. That is one deep gorge. It'll be impossible to climb down. If I fall, death will be pretty inevitable. The fun part will be the ascent with the full kit. Halo, wings, harp, and a white gown. Just what I was afraid of. The only way out is to cross that bridge. Wow, I knew I'd find some use for them. If I put the snowshoes on, my weight would be distributed across several planks of wood. It sounds crazy, but I have to try it. And not only that, but I should get rid of all my extra weight, too. I'm gonna hide all the stuff I don't really need. This has to go, and this, and this, too. I'm taking the lemur with me. If I leave him here, he might shake the bridge just for laughs, or something worse. Darn that lemur. He must have woken up, and the first thing he did was polish off the whiskey. Okay, that should be enough. I really do feel quite a bit lighter now. Well, here we go. It's been nice knowing you, world. Well, at least the worst part is over. Now I just have to keep on climbing. Wait. What is this doing on a lost island? What's going on here?
What was it? Nothing more and nothing less than a military camp. Can you believe it? It's not that weird, Brian. I bet they were just doing maneuvers. You're wrong, Sushi. In the beginning, that's kind of what I thought too. The soldiers had most likely seen Gina falling. So I headed for the camp to see whether they would help me. But it didn't turn out to be as easy as just going down to the lake, meeting up with her and ending the day trip with a pina colada. Nope. The accident turned out to be nothing compared to what was in store for me. Things were about to get worse, much worse. <laughs>